So we can see with hyperhidrosis that often during the procedure the patient will demonstrate sweating. We normally inject just into the dermal area of the skin. Injection is about one centimeter apart. This patient is doing it with no anesthetic, which is quite amazing. And um, normally it'll kick in within one day and um, patient will get relief for about 11 months. Now we have to be careful, particularly in the thin remnants, that we don't stop the muscles working. So if we get a little run like that, it doesn't matter. So, also don't forget fingers. A lot of people who do this technique don't do fingers well they should. It's almost like some nonsensical belief that you need sweating to for a sense. from the first one of these that I know back in Australia in 1998. Long time now, 14 years for the sake of the camera. And um, one of the more useful uses of Botox. My first um, hyperhidrosis patient, believe it or not, was a psychiatric patient who had been arrested by the police for speeding and she was making her way to uh, dry cleaners because she had an obsessive compulsive disorder regarding the fact she was sweating during her wedding and her wedding dress got destroyed and every three months or so she used to go rushing to the cleaners to get it cleaned. She was very successful. She was on quite a lot of Prozac at the time in the late 90s and um, she um, came off medicines and this was before even some of the first papers were produced in hyperhidrosis. Now, when we're treating the hand, we treat it the same as an orthopedic surgeon would. One thumb is worth two or three fingers, so as a consequence, you take special care of that area. 